cable ducts and accessories. Optical fiber cables are placed in ducts to protect from environmental hazards. In this session, we will see more about duct and its accessories. At the end of the session, you will be able to explain the types of HDPE duct and its accessories, explain the duct integrity test, DIT. Initially, the ducts are placed in the trench and then the optical fiber cable is pulled through it. The ducts provide a clear, protected pathway for a cable with safe bending radius. HDPE duct is high-density polyethylene duct used for underground cable conduits. It consists of two layers. The outer layer is HDPE. The inner layer is solid permanent lubricant to reduce the internal coefficient of friction, IFC. The HDPE ducts have 50 years of buried life. Dimension Ducts are available in various sizes. Let's take an example of a duct that has a dimension of 40 by 33 mm. The wall thickness is 3.5 mm and inner layer thickness is minimum 0.28 mm and maximum 0.42 mm. Ducts are available in 500 meter or 1000 meter lengths. The combined diameter of all the cables inside the duct should not exceed 70% of the inner dia of the duct. HDPE duct accessories and tools The common accessories used for HDPE ducts are push-fit couplers, end plugs, simplex plug and end cap. Push-fit couplers are used for coupling ducts. The end plug is used to seal the end of exposed ducts. Simplex plugs seal conduits containing one cable. End cap is used to seal the end of empty ducts in the manufacturer's premises. The tools mainly used while handling HDPE ducts are cutter tool and chamfering tools. They are used to cut and chamfer the ends of ducts. Let's now see the guidelines for storing ducts. Always place the ducts in a proper duct storing area. Coil the material in suitable size for delivery. Use standard moving equipment for loading, unloading and handling these ducts. For safe and secure ducting, follow the guidelines. Check the role of duct for any physical damage. Decoil the duct along the trench using decoiler. Trench should be filled with sieved soil for 5 cm and then the duct is placed gently. Check the duct again for any kink or bend after ducting. Multiple ducts placed inside a trench should not overlap each other. Ensure coupling and closing the duct end with an end cap before backfilling the trench. With that, we have come to the end of the session. Let's now recollect the key points. The ducts are placed in the trench and then the optical fiber cables are pulled through. They provide a clear protected pathway for a cable with safe bending radius. Some of the duct accessories are push fit couplers, end plug, cable sealing plug, and end cap. The commonly used duct tools are end cutter and chamfering tool. Storage and handling of duct drums are to be done carefully.